that I did is that once your main folder is complete and you reach that like a good amount of illustrators that you love, I picked the features of the illustrations that I love. Which means that, for example, for one illustrator, I really love the color, the palette color that he used. Uh, for example, from another illustrator, I really like how he draw, for example, the hair. From another illustrator, I really love how he did, I don't know, um, the eyes. From other illustrator, I really love like how she did the, the, the hands and the, the arms, the legs and stuff like that. So you will pick one feature, one of more feature, that's like super subjective, but you have to pick one feature from each illustrator that you like. So it really doesn't matter if the illustrator starts as super different, but the thing is that you have to pick the, the features that you really like. So the third step is really easy. You have to start drawing. Once you get your features like super done and you are really decided uh, <laughs> what il uh, features you really like, you will start drawing. You will incorporate all of these features in a big monster. That's what I did. I mean, it it look <laughs> it didn't look bad, <laughs> but at first I felt really weird drawing in this way because I was uh, really used to drawing in a completely different way. So, but since I felt so inspired from this illustrator, I started picking up another features and stuff like that. So you will create something like a Frankenstein monster. And uh, yeah, at first I know it will be so weird drawing this uh, hands from another illustrator and the eyes from another illustrator. I know it will be so weird, but trust me. Because in the next step, the fourth step, four, four, four. you will have to practice until your hand fall off. And this is really important, guys, because I need you to be super, super patient with this process. This whole thing of knowing how to draw and creating your own illustration style can take years, years. So you have to practice and practice and practice like every day if you're going in the bus, in the subway, in the tube and stuff like that, you have to practice because at some point uh, this monster will be really natural to draw. If I suppose that you haven't drawn in a few days or in a few weeks, months, even years, your pulse is really drasty. When you, <laughs> when you start to draw again after a while, uh, it's, it's really natural to not being used to drawing and it's, it, it will be super natural to feel rusty when you're drawing. So the practice item, the fourth step, will allow you to feel natural drawing this monster. In, in some point, your own pulse will um, make nice results. When you're practicing, 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 uh, <laughs> you will come across the point number five. Improve your monster uh, with your own ideas. I know that a lot of the references were visual, but of course you can take a lot of uh, references that are in your context. Your neighbors, your cats, people that are on the street, uh, going to the museum, uh, different sorts of uh, styles and art in any kind of form. So it would be super nice that you can take inspiration that comes from your context, from the living life, from the daily, daily, daily basis, the daily, daily life, you know? Uh, so in a point, if you practice a lot, you will start to uh, giving birth to a monster, but the monster with your own creations too. But this point, you can only reach it if you practice a lot. So practice. practice. The point number six is really difficult and I know this myself because I'm really crappy at this. And you have to be super critique to your illustrations. Since you are taking from reference to other illustrators, it's super important that you be critique about your creations. A lot of the time we are drawing, uh, we are drawing super similar to another illustrators. So be super critique, take that into consideration 
it's okay to have references and inspiration uh, but yeah so but let's not copy like from everything <laughs> the final point is number seven it's that never stop developing your own illustration style uh, I know that um, a lot of illustrators, when they reach certain point in their careers, they start to, they stop developing their illustration style, and it's super good. But since you're just starting, it's very good that you're always developing uh, the illustration style that I, you're uh, making. That, my friend, is very similar to the point six, uh, being critique. And the only th and the only way that we can improve or we can develop our illustration style is to be critique and taking feedback from readers or viewers in our blog. This is why it's super important to have a blog because it's super amazing to see the curve that some of the illustrations have when they start from one point but they go into another in a few months so you can see your improvement within the months of their years actually so please have a blog uh, viewers can uh, sometimes be super uh, rough and tough but uh, sometimes they can also be super supportive and uh, yeah so I highly suggest you to have a blog and yeah so that's it guys this was, this is what <laughs> this was a really quick review of what was my illustration process to have my own illustration style again this is what i did so i don't know if there's a more official way of doing this this is the the way the method that i came across uh, again i didn't study illustration so i didn't know how to draw at the time the next video it's really exciting for me because i will talk about this this whole experience but from my point of view which ones were the illustrators who inspired me yeah I think there's some illustrations around the internet of my first step as an illustrator so it will be super nice to see my curve or my timeline yeah and which paths or way I took to reach the illustration style that I have right now so yeah I um, tell me if you want to see that and tell me if you have more questions about this subject so I can put all that uh, answers in the next video in case you have questions. So yeah. <laughs> so I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It will make me so happy. Me and hamburger and cereal and Ed and my neighbor and everyone will be so happy if you did this so yeah um don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you want to see more videos about me and don't forget to follow me my on my social media like twitter instagram facebook and both of my blogs which are uh, <laughs> they are in spanish and in english so yeah don't forget to check them out and yeah, that's it guys. I hope you're having an amazing week and I see you later. Bye! A particular, a particular way of drawing. It's a particular distinct twi distinct distinct I'm reading the thing, I'm sorry. Which is to improve uh improve your <laughs> I'm reading so you can uh see your own curve. <coughs> particular distinctive 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 way or characteristic <laughs>